walking up to a lighthouse. Or it looks like a lighthouse. Because it's a hundred miles from the nearest coastline, so it can't be a lighthouse. And that's what we've come to see. Kreitch Stand. So this unique memorial was erected in 1923 to the memory of the 11,409 Sherwood Foresters, which is the local regiment for Nottingham and Derby, who lost their lives in the Great War. So this is the latest in a succession of towers that have stood on this point and the viewpoint. Um, the first being in seven, erected in 1760 um, for George III's accession. This one has been rededicated uh, in later years to uh, commemorate the those lost in the Second World War as well. Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire were coal mining areas and many young men with mining experience who volunteered for the Sherwood Foresters between 19 and 4, 1914 and 1918 were enlisted into the regiment and then diverted to the Royal Engineers to take part in a highly dangerous subterranean mine warfare on the Western Front. The members of the regiment were awarded nine Victoria Crosses, more than any of the British Army's elite guards regiments. Quite a feat. And as Keith said, to commemorate that, this stone was built in 1923. The tower was erected at this particular location in Kreitch to satisfy the feelings of both counties. Away from the barracks in Derby, but in Derbyshire and within sight of the Nottinghamshire border. And it says on a clear day over there somewhere, you can see for about 50 miles, you can see Lincoln to, Lincoln to Cathedral, but I don't think we're going to see it today. From this point you can see seven counties, Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire, Yorkshire, Leicestershire, Staffordshire, Lancashire and Lincolnshire. Not many places where you can say that really are there. At certain times you can climb up to the top of the tower where you get an absolutely amazing view but sadly, we're here on a day when you can't. And this plaque says, to the glory of God and in honored memory of the 1520 Sherwood Foresters who gave their lives in the war of 1939 to 45, and in honor of their comrades who served in the 13 units of the regiment. quite a few plaques.
So as I say, on certain days you're allowed to go up, the tower's unlocked, it just costs a few pence for you allowed to go up there. Also a memorial for the post-1945 conflicts, Palestine, Northern Ireland and Afghanistan, with room for more, which hopefully will never happen. <laughs>